It's time for a variation on a classic exercise to help keep your head in the game while you're practicing. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Brian from Airflow Music. Welcome back to another Exercise of the Week video. Along with making videos, one of the things I'm always doing is working on different exercises to keep practicing interesting for both my trumpet students and myself. For my own use, I'm constantly coming up with variations on the classics, sometimes to work on slightly different skills, but often just to give me something new to concentrate on. In terms of our instrumental practice, I think mindfulness is very important. To get the best results, we really need to be present and aware as we practice. The trouble is that it's easy to let our minds wander, particularly as we work through familiar routines. For me personally, a case in point is practicing my Clark twos the second study from Herbert L. Clark's Technical Studies. Recently I was on tour in Japan, and in the midst of my jet-lag-induced brain fog, I caught myself having completely zoned out while I played a dozen or more keys of the exercise. That's not good enough, so I set about finding a variation that would work on the same technical stuff while simultaneously keeping my head in the game. I settled on a couple of versions of Clark 2 in 7-8. It's amazing how confusing it can be to drop one note per bar in something you've practiced for 30-something years. I had so much fun practicing them that I also figured out all their reflections, playing them upside down and backwards, as well as in a number of different tonalities. I'm showing one of these variations with you in this video, but I'm also announcing that I've put the whole set together as a book so you can check them all out. I call them my Twisted Technical Studies and they're available now from the Airflow Music Online store as a PDF ebook. There's also a printed book version, which is available now on Amazon. The printed book version will also be available from airflowmusic.com sometime during early March 2020. You'll find all the requisite links in the description below this video on YouTube. I hope you'll check them out. Let's get to the exercise I'm sharing in this video. It's excerpted from Study 2D in the book. It's the upside down or descending version of the pattern notated on the diminished scale. It looks like this. You'll notice that it's in 7-8 time, as I mentioned. There's nothing especially complicated about that, it's just 7 eighth notes or quavers per bar, but it may be a less familiar time signature for some of you. Just remember that the eighth notes are all equal length, it's not four regular eighth notes followed by an eighth note triplet, as it may appear at a glance. The things we're trying to get out of this exercise are the same as for our regular Clark studies. It's all about playing as softly and smoothly as possible, making sure the notes are connected and even. Start out slowly, playing everything slurred, and be sure to play with good valve technique, pressing the valves firmly and quickly, and not lifting the fingers too far off the buttons. The more we can be disciplined about reducing extraneous motion when we play slowly, the easier it'll become to play faster later. To mark time throughout this exercise, you should tap your foot on each accented note. Also apply a breath accent. Doing this will help you get a feel for the uneven big beat of two and a bar at faster tempos. Once the pattern becomes more familiar, then alternate repeats slurred and single-tongued. I prefer a tenuto tongue with no gaps between notes to help keep the airstream continuous while tonguing. Lastly, the marked target tempo is intended as something to work towards. Playing these cleanly and smoothly, both slurred and single-tongued, in the tempo range of 240 to 300 beats per minute, is a challenge for most of us, myself included. However, it's very doable with some diligent practice. I'm certainly having a good time working on it. However, I'll demonstrate the first line somewhat more slowly. There you go. Please download the free PDF of this exercise at the link below and try it for yourself. The practice challenge for this exercise will be up on Instagram and Facebook shortly. It's been fun to see so many of you start to join in. Let's keep that going. If you have any questions about this exercise, or I missed explaining something, please comment below. I'll reply as quickly as I can. Equally, if you'd like to request an area of technique I can address in another exercise of the week, or you'd like to suggest any topic for me to make a video about, I'd love to hear from you. All the exercises in this series are available for free download. However, if you'd like to acknowledge the work that goes into making these videos, you also have the option to name your own price and contribute a few dollars. 
Alternatively, while you're over at airflowmusic.com, please check out the new Twisted Technical Studies book, or any of the other books and merchandise I have on offer. All sales directly support making these videos. I'll see you next Monday for another exercise of the week. Please like and subscribe and all those other YouTube-y things, and then you know what to do. Go practice!